Cumberland County's district attorney calls it a tragic case with a video too graphic to show on television. That's expected to be used as evidence in the case against a Fort Bragg soldier accused of shooting and killing a therapy dog and recording it. CBS North Carolina's Robert Richardson has more from Cumberland County. The sight and sound of gunshots made Kristen Campbell's jaw drop. They're laughing about it. Dog lovers at the Fayetteville Dog Park couldn't believe the violence to a puppy. So they just shot this dog for absolutely no reason. Somebody honestly should just take them out and shoot them too. Investigators say Marina Rollins and Jaron Hing filmed themselves tie Rollins' dog to a tree and shoot it a half dozen times. Hing is a soldier at Fort Bragg, and Rollins became a veteran in January. A close friend of Rollins uploaded the video to Facebook, telling me they hoped it would get attention, leading to punishment. People do need to watch it because it does happen, and people don't believe it happens unless they do watch it. But some couldn't bear to watch. And you know that dog's just wondering what it did wrong. And <laughs> It didn't even do anything wrong. In the last video clip, a woman goes over to her now dead dog, picks him up, shoves him over, says, I love you, you're a good dog, and then covers him with some kind of sheet. How could you do that? And to shoot it multiple times, that's adding insult to injury. You've already hurt the animal. If you didn't want it no more, take it to a shelter. The staff at Fayetteville Animal Protection Society were also in shock about the killing of Cam. There's absolutely no need for someone to take those kinds of steps to get rid of an animal. So I really can't, I can't fathom why somebody would do that. Her group takes in pets from the Cumberland County Animal Shelter to ease overcrowding and volunteers at the county shelter say that's where Rollins got her dog in January 2016. Friends say it was to help her with PTSD and they say they hope reporting her actions will lead to additional help. In Fayetteville, Robert Richardson, CBS North Carolina.